I'm going to compare uh, four different uh, filter dryers here and their ability to filter out this white or this grayish uh, powder which you get after a burnout that uh, covers the entire system and uh, so the ability to filter this out and prevent it from recirculating around in the system uh, if you want to see that uh, refer to the uh, Emerson video from Emerson uh, Climate Controls where it talks about 25 micron uh, particles cycling around so I got four filters here to compare here's uh, the filter from the video this is from the Emerson video where this filter will get 25 microns so we have the um, desiccant right there we have an outlet screen it's a pretty small mesh screen you see here you got a piece of fiberglass as the actual tiny uh, particle filter and then we got another piece of fiberglass on the inlet side before the desiccant actually that would have been two pieces so all together we're filtering through three pieces of fiberglass we got the desiccant sandwiched in between both of them it makes for uh, a filter dryer which works reliably on 25 uh, micron uh, and of course bigger okay here's the uh, and that's the EK series by Emerson here's the top tech from carrier and uh, it's it's labeled as a molecular sieve and it has the uh, centered stone it has a screen it looks like the same mesh size uh, the felt though is much smaller and uh, it almost looks like it's not fiberglass like it's some sort of um, polyester and uh, and so yeah it's got to be poly because it's bent you know like that and then of course uh, the desiccant is right here and this will not filter 25 micron at all I mean you can see how big the pores are and uh, so that's the top tech okay next is Diversitech okay this one uses the granular desiccant and it looks like it's kind of modeled after the EK from climate uh, let's see we got the uh, inlet we got our desiccant sandwiched we got an outlet filter and it's fiberglass but uh, no well, let's see let's see what we got here a little deeper in there okay we have a felt so instead of a screen they put a felt and this one's actually specced to 25 micron that actually looks pretty good oh and a screen nice nice I like that okay so actually looks like it's better filtration than the, uh, the Emerson okay so again we're gonna hit two pieces of fiberglass first or desiccant for drying you know of course the desiccant doesn't filter any particles you're gonna hit another piece of fiberglass gonna hit a felt and you're gonna hit a screen the screen size is a bigger screen though than the Emerson all right there goes that so a little bit bigger screen but a felt which probably works better than the screen so I like that one okay now here's Parker this is the LLD and uh, so on this one it looks like the 
desiccant is on the inlet. So there's no pre-filtering, which I'm not too crazy about. Now we do have a screen, and the screen there is a pretty, pretty big pores. So that's basically, I'm sure, just to keep the desiccant, you know, in the filter so it doesn't fall out. And then we got the same thing, you know, the three. Actually, they got four. We got a little more fiberglass on this one. Four pads. And we got, looks like the small mesh screen again. I mean, I couldn't measure that screen, but we're just looking at general construction here and choosing the best dryer. So Parker doesn't have the inlet though, which means, you know, you're going to get some backing out of it. If you ever have any reverse flow at all, it's going to unload all the dirt in that. I guess it's not a big deal. But uh, out of these four, I like, I like the uh, Diversitec. And uh, that looks like it's going to be a good dryer. We got plenty of filtration to get the small particles out. Otherwise, uh, if you don't have a good filter on there, you know, like this one, if you have basically if you have one of these on there, the small particles are just going to go around and around and around, and never get filtered out. And uh, watch the other video to see what I'm talking about. It's the uh, Emerson climate can uh, just look up Emerson EK filter on YouTube and you can see the other video all right thanks for watching